Video game adaptations have done very well over the past few years, but one that took, I think, everyone by surprise was Five Nights at Freddy's. I feel like expectations were pretty low for this movie, and it has done very well at the box office so far. But now, just judging by the audience and the critic scores after release weekend, we have another case of critics knowing absolutely nothing about what fans actually want out of films. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Now, I wanted to start off with this comicbook.com article that just talks about how well this movie has done so far, and honestly, it has taken me by surprise. I figured that this would do relatively well just judging by the fact that it was launching right before Halloween, Five Nights at Freddy's is a massive franchise, but I didn't expect it to do this well because it has now become the biggest ever opening weekend for Bloomhouse. It has broken a bunch of records. It says, though, fans waited quite a long time to see a movie adaptation of Five Nights at Freddy's, so they made sure to show out in a big way now that the film is finally here. Bloomhouse brought the beloved video game franchise to life with a new live-action film starring Josh Hutcherson, and it was released in theaters this past weekend. And not only did it release in theaters, but this was also a movie that released on Peacock the same day it went to theaters, and we don't know how well it did on the service, but they do have a, you know, combined 24 million subscriber pool, plus this could have brought viewers into Peacock, but at the same time, the service is pretty small compared to like Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus that have a combined 221 million paid subscribers or Netflix's 207 million, but we at least know that it did fantastic in the theaters. It says Five Nights at Freddy's open to a whopping $130 million worldwide, which is quite a lot for a film that cost only around $20 million to make. In previously the biggest ever worldwide box office opening for a Bloomhouse film belonged to 2018's Halloween which took in 91.8 million in its first frame so it didn't um you know blow away something like Halloween but it did still do quite a bit of money um over that total I mean 91 to 130 that is quite a hefty chunk, but this, again, proves how useless, useless critics are, right? Because critics panned this movie. I mean, when we got the critic reviews the few days before this film came out, a lot of people were like, oh no, it's gonna just be another mediocre horror movie. It's just not gonna be good. Probably won't be as bad as the critics are saying, but it's gonna be nowhere near what we expected. But actually, audiences completely disagree. Now, this isn't very surprising to see, right? Because critics are constantly wrong. Um, a lot of the times, critics Critics are, you know, saying something sucks and users love it or vice versa. Critics absolutely adore something and say it's one of the best movies or shows to release of the year. And then we find out, oh, this actually is terrible. Um, I figured there was going to be pretty bad critic reviews around this just because it's a horror movie. It's also a PG-13 horror movie, which is a big reason why I personally didn't get all that excited for it. I'm just not a big fan of PG-13 horror films most of the time, but I'm so glad to see that audiences are actually loving this. Again, just judging by the box office numbers, it's doing great. The audience scores show that it's, it's doing pretty freaking fantastically, and it just proves again that critics are out of touch. Critics have no idea idea what fans actually want out of their entertainment. People are saying things like great for Five Nights at Freddy's fans, great for Five Nights at Freddy's fans, lore gets a bit crazy though, um, great movie, a great comedic horror film, hopefully the start uh, for more in the future. Um, there are some, you know, more negative reviews here, like three stars and two stars, but the majority of the ratings here are very positive. I like the movie. It explained the story very well. The suspense was great. Emotions were high and had a solid story. 
great movie and I'm honestly just happy that we have another video game adaptation win under our belts because we have seen quite a few failures and we have seen quite a few mediocre movies and after hearing that this was only going to have a 20 million dollar budget you know, it had a lot of people worrying because even films with hundred million dollar budgets uh, do tend to fail or do tend to disappoint. But I think a lot of people's expectations were kind of on the lower side for this movie. They never expected it to be, you know, the movie of the year. So they were pleasantly surprised when they saw it and just overall enjoyed it. I mean, and looking at the critics, I mean, oh, the critics just hated this. They could not find anything positive to say here a horror film doesn't have to be rated r to be good but five nights at freddy's feels like 30 minutes of interesting ideas padded out into almost two hours based on the popular horror video games the movie starts out well with sympathetic characters a fun design and an appealing comical tone but it goes on too long and eventually falls apart so they're basically saying that this movie should have been cut in half after, uh, you know, the action starts, it was too much. It was too drawn out, and they should have just cut it. I mean, what do these people want? Nothing is ever enough for them. Five Nights at Freddy's forgets to be fun or scary, limiting what genre of effectiveness can be mustered up here. Not fun enough, not scary enough. It just exists. Well, it doesn't really matter if the critics hate it because users are loving it. Gamers are going to see this. The audiences are thoroughly enjoying their time with this movie. And ultimately, that's all that I care about is that audiences like it. Critics are useless most of the time. Critics do not understand what fans want out of their films, but this movie is doing so good at the box office, even with this PG-13 rating. It is getting, it is raking in the money. It is getting very good reviews from fans, and though we have not heard too much news about a follow-up, it would not be very surprising if they decided to go ahead and wanted to do a sequel with this and honestly if um this was just expanded upon even if it wasn't necessarily just a movie but even if we got a tv show based around five nights at freddy's i'm sure that this is an ip that is probably going to be milked now um of course we have video games and video games are fantastic five nights at freddy's is very successful uh but at the same time they're always looking to branch out and it wouldn't surprise me if we see either a follow-up film or a follow-up tv series and i'd be interested to see the peak talk numbers for this if they eventually release them they haven't at this point but we do know it's doing great in the theaters audiences are loving it and overall it is another win uh and uh, for video game fans and this is just another successful video game adaptation but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.